What's up producers? I am Zhilin and thank you for tuning in to my seventh beat making video. This is what we'll be making today. Just before we start, I want to shout out these two people right here. Thank you for leaving me a comment, Slushy Whale 91 awesome name, and Ryan Riley. Thank you guys, it means a lot. If you want me to give you a shout out, just make sure to leave me a comment. If it's not spam, I'll mention you. And don't forget to stay until the end of this video. We'll be playing some of your Instagram submissions. All right, let's go. So the vibe I was going with this, as you can obviously tell by the title, is an Afrobeat type of beat. And I wanted to have like a dance, uh, you know, very happy vibe. So I just went on the keys and I started like uh, building some kind of rhythmic melody, you know, something that you can uh, dance to. And it's worth mentioning that if you're a Logic user, you will be very happy to know that every single sound in this project is a stock Logic sound. So everything's free. So the first one I started to work with is a marimba sound. Started playing, this is what I came up with. And I doubled up this sound with a sound called Kalimba Morph, which you can find in Alchemy. Kalimba Morph, right? And uh, this is what that sounds like. So with this Kalimba Morph, I've actually got like a tiny little delay on uh, using tape delay. And the output is literally 13% wet. So it's very, very slight, but it makes a difference. It makes, it makes the sound kind of more full, right? So anyway, here's the two different sounds played together. So then I thought, okay, melody's cool, I need some chords, right? You need some chords for your song. Uh, but I wasn't sure what key I was in, so how can I play the chords? Well, basically all I did, I went into, uh, I chose a sound, I went into MIDI effects, right? And I scrolled through every single scale that they had available. So you've got C, a uh, thing I was working with, and I went through C sharp, right? You've got uh, D, you've got D sharp, you got uh, E, right? I went through all of them and I just tried to see what keys, the, the keys that I was playing and the keys that I wasn't playing, what, what, what scale were they in? And it ended up that it was A sharp major, right? So then I just set the transposer to that and left it on. And I literally, no lie to you, I started bashing on the keyboard. I just started bashing on the, on the keyboard and see what sounded right. I was sure it's gonna be in key because I've got this transposer tool on. But I wasn't sure what it's going to be. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you can try and have fun with it. If you have that thing on and you just start playing, 100% is going to be in key, right? And this is the chord progression that I came up with. So then I just chose three sounds to work with as three layers, they're playing the exact same thing. Two from Sculpture and one from Alchemy. And you can listen to that. All right, so that together with the melody Right, the ba I actually played that right now with the bass line for you. Uh, let me just show it to you separately. It's once again using deep bass from bass line. I love using it, it's got a really smooth sound. Uh, it, works, it works with this genre, right? Because it's not very intervening, it's not very growly. Uh, unless you want it to be, you can make it if you want to. Uh, but this has got to be one of the ugliest bass lines I've ever made.
right? I, I think that's terrible, but it works. So we've got just two more melodies to work with and they actually samples from Splice. I used, I cut them on my own, so uh, I'll just show you the original sample. It's two different vocal lines, right? Um, right, so this is the original sample for the first one. Right, so I chopped it up. And when you chop up samples, uh, just one tip for you, make sure to go in here to region, right? And fade in and fade out like at least six. Otherwise, when you play them on your keys, it's going to click. Okay, so. Right, so I can play it any way I want to and you can see, you can hear, sorry, that there's no pops or anything like that. Um, this is the vocal line I came up with. Right, so I have that very, very low in the mix. And another one I have is right here. If you've, been, if you've been spending any time on Splice, I'm sure you've heard this sample, um, right? So I've cut it once again. Right, so I've got it on my keys here and this is the line I played. Right, that's pretty much all for the melodies. The rest is drums and, you know. So we've got kick, snare, perk or clap, second perk, I hat open hat and another perk. So here is the whole drum beat. Right, so we're wrapping up to the end of the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna play my beat last. Before I play my beat, I am gonna play two people that I chose from Instagram submissions, all right? And if you want to have your beats heard in my video, all you have to do is make a beat making video, right? Or it can be just a beat and submit it to Instagram and hashtag Zillin Music, okay? At the end of the week, I will listen to all of them and choose the two that I like the most and play them right now. All right, guys, hope you enjoy. I will play those two right now. First one is by Davu Beats, and another one is by Sega Kid. All right, enjoy, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and leave me a comment. All right, peace.